Kelmscott Manor was the inspirational Cotswold retreat of William Morris and his family, friends and colleagues. All this heaven on earth belongs to us, the fellows of the society. It is one of the most important and famous houses of its kind in the world. William Morris revolutionised many aspects of the decorative arts and his worldwide legacy continues and will do so if we improve and upgrade our complex of buildings to reinterpret what Morris did. Also to provide young people with training opportunities and create a place for artists in residence. William Morris loved Kelmscott Manor. It was his architectural ideal. The spontaneous product of traditional craftsmanship mellowed by time and nature until it appeared, in his words, to have grown up out of the soil. It embodied that atmospheric appeal of times gone by that had so fascinated him as a boy and that had inspired his hunger for history and archaeology. The impact made on Morris by the manor, its landscape setting and the remote farming community within which it stood really can't be overstated. It was to become the undertone for all his future activities, informing his developing ideas about politics, society and building conservation, and inspiring both designs and writings. When I came in, I thought he only did like wallpaper and things. But then when I started walking around the house, I realised that he did a lot more like painting and designing furniture. He brings outdoors, indoors with his furniture, walls and his designs. When you arrive in Kemscott, you feel like you've stepped back in time. should the fellows of a society support this project. Here we are at Kelmscott, the home of May Morris, the, her shrine to William Morris, but there's far more to Kelmscott than those, that narrow museum quality. He recognised how intimately technical skill is linked to spiritual growth. As a founder of the Green Movement, connecting the natural environment with creativity, his vision has a far wider capacity and resonates with our values today. Those values, passionately held by Morris, remain at the heart of what the society stands for, our dynamic engagement with the past. This project will help us rediscover those principles, from community archaeology to his Icelandic dragon hedge, from sustainable stewardship of land and water to displays about conservation. I hope you've enjoyed this glimpse of our great treasure that you're convinced it can, upgraded, make a big contribution to the outreach work of our society and of course to its reputation. But we need you to take ownership of this project, to be part of it, proud of it, and to note to our campaign. I hope you will.